All right, when you're looking for supplements, there are so many different supplements out there. It can get really confusing. It absolutely can. So we talked to registered dietitian Dana White about which ones she recommends that you should be using. This is really a confusing topic for me, so I'm glad we're discussing it. Yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, I talked about supplement safety a few weeks back with you guys, but I was getting a lot of questions. People wanted to know, you know, tell me exactly what are some good options. So I have three to share with you today. Okay. All right, so first up is a multivitamin, right? Um, I, Nature Made is kind of the, is typically the brand I recommend. That's the one I have here today. One a day is also a good one. And the idea here is that you have to take these with food. I think that's another question I get a lot. Do I take it on an empty stomach? Do I take it with food? So a good general Nature Made or one a day multivitamin, I would definitely recommend this is a woman's formula for me, men's formula for men, because they're slightly different with some of the nutrients that they have and always take them with food. And Dana, does it make a difference? I mean, do you know, am I supposed to be, is there a big difference between the over 50 and under 50 pills? Yeah, you know what, there are. And, and the reason is, again, as, a, as, you know, different age populations, our needs change. Sometimes we need a little bit more of something. Sometimes we need a little bit less of something. And that's kind of the hallmark of those multivitamins that say over, under, male, female, is that they have those slight little differences to kind of maximize the nutrients that are most important for those populations. Okay. Yeah. So in addition to a multivitamin, I mean, we've just talked about things uh, with our SAD report on maybe vitamin D or other things. What, what are some other things you think most people could benefit from? So I'm going to save vitamin D for the end because I have a surprise for you. So the next up is fish oil. So those, with the reason we take fish oil is because those important omega-3 fats. Most Americans, they fight inflammation. They're good for our skin. They're good for our heart. And most people don't get enough because they're just not in a wide variety of foods. So fish oil is usually a, a good option for a lot of people. Um, I like the Nordic Naturals brand for this one. I think it's a really good company. I think the problem is sometimes with fish oil uh, supplements is that they actually say they have a certain amount of fish oil, but not the actual omega-3 fish oils in there. So that's not going to help you at all. It's not going to hurt you necessarily, but who wants to take a bunch of fish oil if it's not the right kind of fish oil, right? Yeah, yeah, we like the Nordic Naturals in our house, too, and they have a kid's variety. And you can get them at Whole Foods? Is that what you said? You can get them at Whole Foods, yeah. All right. You get them at Whole Foods. You can even get them on Amazon. I'm going to put a whole bunch of links on my website later today so that everybody can figure out um, where they can find all of these. But Nordic Naturals is a really easy brand that you can find in a lot of different places. And, and Dana, you're saying to take these in addition to the multivitamin? Correct, because you're not going to see, especially the, the multivitamin brands that I'm recommending, they don't have any of that in there. So this would be in addition to that. Okay. All right. Now and also with food, another, and with food as well, that's another one you want to take it with food. Okay, terrific. And now? Vitamin D. <laughs> not yet. No, no. I'm going to give you a suspense. <laughs> well, sort of. This is calcium. Oh. Calcium is something really important, especially for females, but really most people tend to not get enough calcium. And I think you guys are going to like this. So this brand is called Adora. And they're, if you like chocolate, you're going to like taking your calcium supplement because these are these little chocolate coins. And they come in milk chocolate and dark chocolate. And you're getting your calcium along with it. That's great. Nice. Yeah. And I think there's an, another thing here, again, is that calcium, most of the chewable forms of calcium are what is called calcium carbonate. And calcium carbonate must be taken with food. So if you're taking it without food, you actually can't absorb it. And again, then it's a waste. So why are you taking the supplement if you can't absorb it? Okay. So, and it's kind of nice for the chocolate because maybe, you know, after a meal, if you have a sweet tooth, you go ahead and take one of these um, and you're kind of scratching that chocolate itch too. And again, it won't matter if you're rushed in the morning, you could take these with your dinner instead, right? Morning, night, that's not going to make a difference. Correct. I think usually my recommendation is when will you remember to take it? Um, you know, and that's when you should take it. The one thing about calcium is that you can only absorb 500 milligrams at a time. So some people might want to take a thousand milligrams a day, and that's where you might want to check with your dietitian or your doctor for how much. 
But if you're, these have 500 each. So if you eat two of these at a time, you're actually going to waste half of it because you can't absorb it. So that might, that might actually help you figure out when you should take it. And if you need to take two, maybe you take one at morning and then one at night. All right. We only have a minute left, Dana, for the big persist okay, so results. Reveal, right? So all of these supplements that I just talked about have vitamin D in them. All of them. That's okay? great. So in, in that case, we don't necessarily need an additional vitamin D supplement on top of it. And I think that's what people kind of fail to do sometimes if they take multiple supplements, they don't take inventory. So I'm getting vitamin D in all three of these. So that for that reason, in my case, I don't need to take an additional vitamin D on top of it. But right. Scott was asking if you're only taking a multi, it probably doesn't have the extra vitamin D that you might want. Correct. So that's, and that's really where you look at the label. And, and I think multivitamins really shouldn't have mega doses of anything. And some people, as particularly if they've been diagnosed if they're deficient in vitamin D, may need something additional. Um, so that's where it kind of depends on the individual. Or maybe in the winter months, you want to add a little bit of an extra dose. So then you might want to invite an additional vitamin D supplement on top yep. of it. All right, Dana White, you're amazing. Thank you so much for Thank your you, help. Thank you, Dana. All right. So when you, Thanks, guys. when you get your blood work today, make sure that you get tested because they'll tell you how much vitamin D you have. Exactly. And you'll find out more information about choosing a supplement on Dana's blog. You can visit DanaWhiteNutrition.com.